Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In previous video, we have created a simple process with the use of any Teller demo application. In today's video, we will create an additional process related to CRM data entry. So let's try to create a robot that does the following. Open CRM XLSS and my CRM application. For each row, we will need to select the people tab, enter the first name, last name, select the gender, enter the address, select the state, check the active, email and so forth. And the last one is enter the company name in the company tab. Okay, so first we need to take a look at the Excel file and also the application. So if you can see here, that this is the people tab and the company tab. We need the first name, last name, gender, address, state is a combo box, which is the drop down list, phone number, email, the role in company will be entered inside this comment slash notes. And the company tab, we enter the company name. Okay, so first what we need to do is run application. I select my CRM application and the next one is launch Excel file. We'll open the following document and I select my Excel file. Okay, the next one is I would like to get the first free row. Okay, so now let's try to read the Excel. Um, read from Excel worksheet. And then we indicate the range of cells start from column A, start from row 1. End of column will be first free column minus 1. And the first free row minus one okay over here we need to select this option first line of range contains the column names because we do not want to read the column name as a value okay and then now the next step what we need to do is we use a for each row for each loop we have to indicate the excel data produce verbal will be current item as per default and then now the next step is we want to select the tab in the window right so we add a ui element okay so over here i need to select the people tab i must control hold my control plus a left click okay it's already added here and then my first name last name gender i need to select both address state phone number email address notes active so over here you have select but you can't see here scroll down you can see and then the next one is a company tab and the company name okay let me double check whether i've selected yes i selected so over here i have two right it's okay later i will delete it so over here is generated successfully let me delete this ui element this is duplicate and then over here i would like to rename it to have a more meaningful naming convention put here comments okay so now the next step what i would like to do is select tab in a window i need to select the people tab all right and then Next one is I need to populate the first name and last name. Okay, so over here, indicate the edit first current item. Then I indicate the first name. Okay, I repeat this for the last name. I select N, then I paste here. Okay, no, now next is the gender, right? So for gender, we need to have a condition to check whether it's a male or female. 
So you have to use the if action. If current item square brackets gender is equals to mu. Then we select the male option. Else, we will select the female action. So over here, I may need to use the radio button. Select window in a radio in a in a window. Okay, and then I select male. And I select for female in the else statement. Alright, so now next is we need to populate the address. Let me copy this again. Paste it below after I select the gender. And then I select address. Okay, and then the next one is we need to set the state. So for state, we have to use the set drop down list. Okay, select state options. We have to use the second one because we based on the name and the option name here. We select current item square bracket. State. Let me double check. Okay, correct. And click save. Okay, so now is the active. For active, we do need to have another if condition whether it's a yes or no. So we drag if action. If current item. If is equals to yes, then we use this checkbox. Set the checkbox state to check. Okay, do this the same for. Non active, it's a bit laggy here. Let me okay. set this to uncheck now. I better save first. Okay, so now the last step is enter email, phone number, and the role in company. So we copy this. So where's the email personal? Let me close this application. Let's see, we'll open a new one. And I close this Excel. Let's try to run this. Okay, let me bring this forward. Alright, so over here you can see it's actually working. Let me just stop the bot because we do have the company tab. So, okay, it's already stopped. Uh, next one, what we need to do is we select the company tab, right? 
select tab in window and then I select this tab company and I need to populate the text field for company name Okay, so most likely most of you uh, would think that a hey, my address is this, but why this one doesn't change? What if I want to change this to empty, and or maybe the home or work? Okay, so in this case, it's simple. What you need to do is you use a populate text field again. Okay, let me just show you one example. Over here, the value that you need to put here is you just put a percentage and a single quote two time okay if i click save here you will see that the board will enter this as a blank okay so let's try again let me close this I save this file and i run Okay, so you see, I did not change the address, so I stop the but I let me stop the run. I adjust this to address line two. Okay, I click save and then let me run again. So in this case, maybe I want instead of me keep closing this Excel, let me close it automatically. Okay, after at the end of the flow, do not save the document. And I also, there's no need for me to view the Excel form. So let me check this to false. Okay, so I run. And you will see, you will reopen the Excel form in the background. And do the steps. Alright, so the process has been completed. Let me double check. Okay, we have completed this whole thing. It has repeat all the rows and that's all for this exercise. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.